Hi, my name is Deborah Henny. I'm a wife, author, mother, speaker. Today I'm going to release a prophetic word. Uh, I'll call it breakthrough anointing or on the breakers. And what I really sensed so powerfully was God was like coming forth as king uh, on the breakers for breakthrough anointing. Um, and as I studied into that and prayed into that, um, Micah 2, 12 to 13 really came to my heart and came to my mind. Um, and it says, I will certainly assemble all of you, Jacob. I will certainly gather the remnant of Israel. I will put them together like sheep in the fold, like a flock in the midst of its pasture. They will be noisy with people. The one who breaks through goes up before them. They break through, pass through the gate, and go out by it. So their king passes on before them, and the Lord at their head. And as I prayed into that, I felt God release these words to me. He said, I am assembling my people, a remnant that will align to my plumb line. I will gather them even into a Goshen and be a shield of fire around them. These, my people, I will shield and raise up even as I shield them and will call them to go forth and break out even as I break forth before them. These are those that honor me even in the silent musings of their hearts, those that fear me with a holy fear, those that hail me as king. In these, just as I am king in their hearts, I will be seen as king in their lives, and my glory will break out from within them and cause a stirring and upwelling and even a flooding in the nations. Do not fear, though the darkness grows darker yet, do not fear the darkness, but fear me, the one who sheds abroad a great light, even in the midst of great darkness. I will say it again. Do not fear. This is crucial as bold faith and bold love and zeal will harm, hallmark those going forth in this move. This will be an unprecedented move, one that human imaginings cannot begin to comprehend one that the enemy has feared and sought to stifle, but one that I have decided and decreed shall happen. So it shall be. Faces like flint, eyes stayed on me, feet planted in peace, and innermost parts burning with passion are key. And there was a strong sense with that phrase in particular, those words in particular, of a warning against various distractions such as debates, busyness, fear, vain imaginations, and even those things that appear to be good, but aren't actually God. Um, so with that warning, um, height, we're going to need heightened discernment, especially for those things that are good, but aren't actually where God is taking us and God is leading us. Uh, but anyway, but I felt him continue to say, I have said that my people will be collaborating with my servants, the angels, and yes, this shall be for the glory to be revealed in this time is great. Do not allow your eyes to be drawn aside by fellow co-laborers, whether human or angelic, but keep your eyes on me and me alone. And that goes back to that faces like flint just stayed on the Lord only. Even people who, even co-laborers who are serving God, like and he talked about human or angelic, co-laborers with God, you are keep, we are keeping our eyes straight and like flint on him. Don't let your eyes be drawn aside. Do not treat my servants lightly or esteem them too highly. Again, another warning there. Uh, don't let your eyes be drawn aside and distracted by them and look to them. Look to God alone, but also don't treat them lightly. Honor them, but don't esteem them so highly either. Um, so there's a balance there. But anyway, he says, do not treat my servants lightly or esteem them too highly. There will be a teaching and instruction for this. But only for those who have submitted to my fire of purification, for great is the reward for those who stay true to the end and whose faith is shown to be proven. And again, I think when he talks about this teaching or instruction for this, I think it's not only that balance 
uh, of a heart posture and a perspective in regards to the co-laborers, but also how to co-labor with the angels. Um, and he talks more about that in the last part of this word. He says, there will be a thinning in the atmosphere as I heighten discernment and a greater awareness of my spirit and my servants will be dispensed. As I cause a breaking or as I cause a passing through between realms and lead the breakthrough for the breakout glory of this time. And that was so heavy. A breakthrough for the breakout glory of this time. Many will see heaven come to earth as my will goes forth. Many will taste the goodness found only in my divine presence, the healing and the freedom. Get ready for mass breakthrough to the masses. Yeah, this was a really powerful word. This is one that really hit me in the deepest parts of me. Um, and the things that really stood out to me, as, and even as I'm reading through this word again, even though I received this... Uh, back in the beginning of January of this year, January 4th and a little bit more uh, clearly on the 6th of January of 2024. This again felt very much like a 2024 word. Break out, going forth on the breakers with breakthrough anointing for breakout glory. Um, and specifically, God being hailed and seen as king, hailed as king in our hearts and seen as king in our lives. And I found it interesting as I pondered over the words that God had been releasing to me. Um, and I thought about how last year, the big uh, concept that he really kept bringing forth was this, uh, this identity, this being known and seen as God's family, as his children. And now it seems like going forward, the next piece is this revelation of God as king. And as I thought about it, I thought, you know, that's really important that we have that in the right order. That we see God as our father first. That first, we are a child of God. But that as being a child of God, God is also our king. And that also makes us a royal line, part of his royal line here on this earth, uh, fulfilling his word, fulfilling his plans, but we can't really get that reversed. We don't want to get that reversed. We don't want to see him as king without first knowing him and seeing him as our father um, because there's so much uh, healing and freedom that happens uh, when we know God as our father um, rather than just God as king, which can kind of more fall into... Um, more bondage of, and uh, fear, not a holy fear, but fear and being scared of God. Um, so again, God as our father first, getting a hold of that revelation of we are God's family. You, me, you know, the person that, you know, your, your co-worker who's a child of God also, who is a fellow brother or sister in Christ, you know, people at our churches, that are believers, we together are God's family. And together, God our Father is King. And we are a royal, the Bible calls us a royal priesthood. So we are children and of the God the Father, children of the King. And God wants to be seen as that in our lives. But first we have to maintain our maintain that revelation and that heart posture um, inside before it can be manifested outside. Uh, but again, very exciting, unprecedented move. That was so strong, so strong, even here in the last couple of weeks. Unprecedented move, breakthrough glory, breakthrough anointing, a breakout. Like God is coming on the breakers for breakout glory. Uh, he says, do not be afraid, so don't fear, but have holy fear of God the Father. Have holy fear of God our King and go forth with bold faith and bold love with zeal um and again he continues to talk about this angelic collaboration and i know that that in my personal life he's been thinning that atmosphere and i'm starting to see more into the spirit realm starting to sense more of the that presence um also 
so I am very curious because uh, he talks about more teaching and instruction coming with how this actually is going to go down with how we're going to, as human beings who are servants of the Lord and children of God, co-laboring with the angels to bring forth this mighty work that he has for this time. So I'm not sure if I will be the one to get that revelation. You know, we're all, we're all a family. So, you know, he gives to each one their portion. So I'll be tuning in and I believe and trust that others are as well uh, for this teaching and instruction that he has for us, his people in this time of how we co-labor with the angels to bring about the purposes of the Lord. So again, be blessed. Till next time.